Cheerio, governors! It's Captain Blue Shell coming to you today with a new game. We're playing Euro Truck Simulator for the first time ever. Gonna be exciting. Grab your crumpets, maybe a cup of tea. Here we go, let's get right into it. It's Captain Blue Shell. Or perhaps you would like me to speak like this in the game for the entire video. <laughs> no, but seriously, guys, it is Captain Blue Shell getting into Euro Truck Simulator, like we said. For for the very first time, this is so long overdue. This is so long overdue and I don't really care. Let's go ahead and pick out our headquarters as to where we are going to be moving to until we get a foothold in the game. I'm guessing this is much like American Truck Simulator with the headquarters, so hmm. The question is where oh where should we start out, ladies and gentlemen? I have absolutely no clue what is the best city or where to go. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna be going ahead to pick Milan, uh, in Italy, and if you're guessing, if you're wondering if I actually researched it on Google to find the best city to start out with, you'd be right! Well, 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 if it isn't Captain Blue Shell. So, let's go ahead and choose Milan and confirm that selection, because it's Italy, it should be beautiful, it should give us everything that we need to know, Hopefully, <laughs> fingers crossed. I hope it's beautiful. I mean, it's Italy. Should we walk through the tutorial? Sure. Why not? I mean, sure. Just knock yourself out, game. Go for it. Besides, I mean, this will give us some more practice. I'm blind now, just so that you know I can't see anymore. This will give us some practice of uh, getting used to the roads and everything like that. Um... You know, it's, I mean, I know it's gonna basically be the exact same. Holy crap, what just happened? My game is, it's broke. We broke it. I'm just so happy that my VR, like, already works. Not VR, but track IR. It's VR. Whatever. Shut up. Like, already, guys, this windscreen, holy crap. Like, I see, it's like being in an IMAX movie theater after you're just used to movie theater, like, the regular screens, and then boom, IMAX. I mean, we're, like, looking around. This is already awesome, and we are inside a man. Let's go ahead and start up this beautiful engine. I don't really even know if it is an engine or not. I'm not really sure. Is it still like the same, uh, the same aspect, the same stuff? It looks like it is. This is just so much different though. It's like, oh man, this is a speedy little truck. Holy crap, man. All right, guys, I know this is going to sound stupid and completely American, but I did forget that Italians actually do drive on the right side of the road, just like us. So, I did forget about that. I'm very sorry, very sorry for my ignorance, and, uh, scusi. <laughs> and I went ahead also to, uh, I got, uh, all of my buttons, well, most of my buttons, uh, done and everything, though. We got our, uh, lights on and everything, too. There we go. We've also got our horn. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready? Alright guys, we are ready. Pre-spec, final checks, all of that good stuff. We are ready to go ahead, get on the road. What the crap is that? Oh, that's a mirror outside of our windscreen. Never mind. Alright, here we go. The first turn. First turn is going to make or break us for sure, ladies and gentlemen, for sure. Can we make the first turn smoothly? Yes, it can. It's gonna be a smooth video, baby. I'm so used to my map being on the uh, the screen too as well, but it's all right. Oh my God, it's a roundabout. I'm freaking out. Probably we're gonna be coming to these like every five feet, but like in ATS, it's a very rare sight indeed. So, all right, there we go, cool. And we hit seventh again, just like ATS. This is nice. I like this, man. Let me go ahead and turn around real quick. Oh, look at the bed. Oh, heck yeah. Luxury at its finest. And it can only be found inside of a man. Got us another roundabout coming up. Hold on to your wigs and keys, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Oh, oh, we're drifting. You see that? We're drifting. Our first truck that we're ever drifting, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this view, though. Like, look at... Just look at this. Wow. That's that's actually quite beautiful. I really like that. Oh god. Are we going to do a uh, are we going to do a roundabout in third person mode? Heck yeah, we are, baby. All right, let's go ahead. You see, the trick is to just hit what we call the apex. It's an apex, okay? That's the name of it. And you got to hit that in order to drift just right. That's right. Here comes another one, and uh, I don't know where I'm going because my map 
is screwed up. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it in seventh. This is really horrifying. What are you doing? How did I not have the right of way? He just like literally, what was that? So what had happened was that I was going around the roundabout and this guy literally sideswiped me like he like T-boned right into me. So it's like, um, what do we do now? Cheerio, sir, what had happened with this traffic accident here, would you say? Well, you see, sir, what had happened was that I was in the right of way when- Oh, I don't care what you say, you're American. Go ahead and piss off, I get out of here. Well, that was the worst cop I think I've ever met in my entire life. I don't like it in Milan anymore. I don't like it in Europe. Stay away from Europe. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. We were supposed to turn a right up here, but I was so excited uh, for the roundabouts that I actually missed it. And uh, I didn't know what else to do. I thought that it was that guy's fault, but maybe there's like a new law of when you're coming into a roundabout that you have right of way. I don't know. I don't know what that guy's problem was. I don't know what he was doing, what he was on, what had happened. All I know is that we are at our destination, and it's a beautiful building. No, it's not. Here we go. Slide on up. Let's do the cha-cha slide. Bring it back now, y'all. All right, let's go ahead and just kind of moosey on up here. It's a real word, by the way. All right, here we go, and we have finished our first trucking in Europe. Congratulations, everyone. Give yourselves a round of applause. Can I do an in-game, too? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, mission complete. Let's go ahead. Uh, let's go ahead and play it safe. So is it just going to be, like, straight on? Nope. There is a huge turn that we have to do, too, as well. You thought it was the end, but it's never the end. This is, I mean, this is the blue shell we're talking about here. So going to go ahead. Let's check our mirrors. Checking our mirrors. Like a good, local good standing citizen, yes. And we'll basically just kind of smooth it on up. I really like this. I really like this truck. And I just, I love the way that it just, it feels. Like, it feels really, it, it feels really cool, it does. Alright, so yeah, that was, uh, that was it. Let's go ahead and see how we did. We went 29 kilometers, which is three miles and we got 44 xp yes and this is our headquarters in milan italy when you moved to milan were you thinking hey i'm gonna move my business into into this into this building probably not go ahead and continue on here pretty basic as a garage yeah you don't say right it tells me good luck Psh, yeah right and i mean it kind of sucks because i can't show you guys the truck dealers or the uh, the trailers or anything like that we can just kind of basically like look at the map and maybe do like another job or something there but i mean they're all gonna be quick jobs but that's not a bad thing because some of the quick jobs they actually give you access to better trucks the trucks that you want to go ahead and drive but you can't afford them this is actually the place so i mean we could go ahead and get into something a little bit more powerful like the scania s high roof with 730 horsepower it's a 12 speed let's go ahead and do that real quick just to take a look at the truck itself shall we and once again nice interior we got going on here isn't that right ladies and gentlemen let's go ahead and turn on this puppy and we got our lights on got our gps there too as well i like the inside of these trucks I was always kind of like underestimating them because they look like trucks that if you push them from like behind that you could just like kind of like flip them over <laughs> to like front words you could just kind of flip them over pretty much probably but they are they do have their, their own kind of like beauty to them too you know it's like look at that and really no hood either so that's really gonna get us out of like the tight uh, you know jams the tight turning corners and everything like that these aren't actually bad trucks so let's go ahead and get this uh, puppy into gear shall we Let's go ahead and start turning that wheel here. I, I do like how we have so much more space ahead of us. Uh, it is a pretty uh, pretty good deal, like, overall. And I'm about to go uh, all kinds of crazy, crazy on this uh, road before we even leave. Oh, no! But my question is, are we able to turn without hitting the fence at this distance? Let's go ahead and check and see. Walk in the park! Look at that, man! Absolutely easiest thing this truck has ever done probably in its life. That is absolutely crazy, man. Absolutely, absolutely crazy. I don't know if the trailer is going to be straight enough in the long run, but hey. Maybe I should start paying more attention to road signs. Nah. All right, let's go ahead and get this uh, back straightened out here yet again. 
Let's go ahead and get under our trailer here. Go ahead and try and straighten that out. There we go. A little bit more to the right there for a little bit more space. And yeah, there we go. Awesome. Cool. I think that this should be the front gate that we're looking for. Yes, it is. Congratulations. Awesome. We made the gate. Got us another roundabout. As we've learned, we are already the king of roundabouts, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely 100% amazing. And let's go ahead and fire this puppy up, see what it's really got. This thing has so much power, though, man. I don't know if it's just the type of truck or if it's all European trucks. These things have power, man. The brakes are really good too, this is crazy. All in all, this has just been like so much fun. Like, I don't even know why that is, it's just, it really, <laughs> it just really is. And here we go guys, our first uh, interstate or highway or whatever we call it here. It's the first of, of many of these inner country traveling. I was gonna say interstate, but I don't really know if that's even uh, you know, correct to say or not. I'm in Europe is basically what I'm saying. I'm just so not used to kilometers. This is going to take a lot of getting used to uh, with the speed. That guy's doing more than 80. I don't know. I guess we'll see, but let's go ahead, take a quick break to that third person view. It's just not as beautiful as the American trucks. I'm sorry, but it's not, you know, and yeah, we're just, we're about to die here. That's all. I mean, I'm sorry, but they're just not as like breathtaking and as beautiful as the American trucks. They never will be. However, ETS2 really does, like they said that they had the inner city driving down and I didn't really believe them. We just went through maybe like a part of a city or two and it's already so much fun. I think it's because of the roundabouts, but there's something about this game that inner city driving just, it makes it so much more fun. I think now don't call me crazy and just try to stay up on my level but I think it's because we don't have much of a hood because we can make those tight, you know, corners and everything and get out of, like, tighter situations, too, um, that make it a lot more, I guess, enjoyable, I guess you could say. I'm gonna go ahead and test out the, uh, the cruise control here. There we go. Heck yeah. Cruise control works beautifully. I just, I can't wait to get into, like, Germany and Spain and the United Kingdom. It's just gonna be awesome. It's going to be a fantastic change of view, uh, changing up stuff to really kind of appreciate uh, what you do as a trucker, not only in America, but also Europe. And I have to say, I don't know why I've kept away from this game for so long. It's not because I was afraid or anything. I think it was just because of time management. But, oh my God, I should have gotten into this a long, long, long time ago because this is... It, it truly is a lot of fun. I don't know what this is coming up, but I don't like it. There we go, and can we pay the toll? Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. Class dismissed. Yeah, I mean, these are fast little trucks, man. I mean, they really do get the job done. They're very easy to shift, uh, very quick, very fast. And what I've noticed, too, as well, is that they don't, uh, they don't seem to stall as easy as the American trucks. I know that sounds weird, but it just didn't seem to stall as easy like in the lower gear. Like I could just keep it as low as I wanted to and it was just fine. It would just keep on trucking. No, but like this, this really is nice though. This is a, uh, this is really is a super, super nice trucks, nice roads, um, beautiful scenery too as well. I think we've got an airport over there now. Yeah, it looks like it. That's so cool, man. And like I said, I can't wait until we get into more of the uh, the scenic, you know, destinations. And, uh, you know, to just kind of find, you know, more places and better driving roads and everything, too. So I heard that American Truck Simulator have better roads, like, out, like, the desert, like, landscape-wise. And that this is better inner city. But, I mean, we'll see when we get into, like, Holland and everything like that, too. I want, basically, I want to go ahead and find the mountains, like, mountainous regions, everything like that. Do that and do a comparison with, like, Colorado, Oregon, Washington, stuff like that. So, yeah, I mean, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it here uh, with that because we've tried it out. I like it. I love it. I'm going to go ahead and continue with it. And I'll go ahead and be continuing to make more videos of ETS2 as well as ATS2 as well. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like, uh, follow, subscribe perhaps if you want to. We'll go ahead, like I said, be getting into a lot more trucks, a lot more videos. It's Captain Blue Shell. I'll see you on that next beautiful European adventure. I'm out.